Hi and welcome back to the channel. I'm in sunny Spain. I'm actually in Costa del Sol in Fuengarola. Um, before I start this video, can you please do me a massive favour? If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, can you please subscribe? It does help the channel grow. I'm going to stay one night in this hotel behind me. It's the Hotel Leonardo. I booked in for one night in July, half board. So join me while we take a little look and see what the Hotel Leonardo has to offer. So I'm on the 11th floor, room 1122. A little bit of confusion broken in. The hotel that I've booked and that I have on my receipt is the Florida Spa in Fuengarola. I've wandered around the front, couldn't find it. So according to the GPS on my phone, it was saying this hotel was the hotel, but this hotel is called the Leonardo. So I came in, asked at reception and reception here and I said that it is, it was called the Florida Spa. So the travel, uh, agents haven't updated their information. So this is the Leonardo Hotel in Fuengarola. Uh, I've just got my key access to the room. So let me show you room 1122. So there's the bed. That um, has got to be a queen. That has to be a queen. It's huge. Coffee making machine. Quite a large TV, flat screen television. There's another PowerPoint and USB points I've noticed as well. So power points and USB points. Mirrored wardrobe. I like these lights. I think these lights are really nice. And the pictures as well. Plenty of points, power points either side of the bed. I can see one, two, three, four. There are four sockets here and two, four, six power points. Wardrobe, let's see what's inside the wardrobe. There's your safe and quite a large chest of drawers. Hangers as well, a blanket in case it gets cold. I don't think so. It's actually 32 degrees at the moment. And on this side is, uh, oh, the fridge. Now I was told that there's complimentary water in there. So there you go. Nice to have a fridge in the room, a bedside table. Right, let's check out the bathroom. Now I like this, this large walk-in shower. It's huge, absolutely huge. Plenty of towels. I love this sink. Hair dryer. Picture of unknown family. 
and your toilet. This is quite a large, very large bathroom. But it's the view I'm looking for. I can see through the curtain that it looks absolutely beautiful, the view so far. But let's have a look at it properly. Wow, that is the view that I have from my balcony. Overlooking the harbour and the beach. So I've got a beach directly in front. Absolutely beautiful. As I said, it's 32 degrees outside. Thank God for aircon. Let's see what else the Leonardo Hotel has to offer for its price. The hotel itself is four star and from outside it's very deceiving. It looks quite a small hotel until you get inside and it's bigger than what you think. It's like a TARDIS once you're inside, it's quite big. The only area that I have noticed is the pool. That's a very small pool. Um, I can't see any other pool so I gather that's the main pool and the Sun Terrace isn't a very big area. But we are in a built up area. There's loads of hotels around the one hotel. But the main reason why I booked this hotel is for the view. The view is absolutely fabulous over the harbour. It is, as I said before, it is half board. So I'll show you a little bit later on what the evening meal's like. And then in the morning, I'll show you what the breakfast is like. See you later. Right, as I said, I am half board and this is the evening meal. So I'm just gonna try a little bit of asparagus soup. I actually thought the restaurant would have been a lot busier. It's only open till half nine and this is eight o'clock. So there's something about cold water in the hotel. It's just water. But there's something about it when they serve you cold water. It's always different. Especially with your meal. Right, next up I'm going to try the veal fillet with a mixed salad. Let's see what this fillet's like. It can be stringy if 
feel. I've had that a few times in the hotel. Just looking around the restaurants, there is quite a quite a lot of choice to be honest with you. There's um, the hot dishes as you came in is the real which I'm trying now. I'm gonna try um, the curried fish, the um, paella, there's a huge salad bar, um, a fruit bar, children's section, a cheese board, and the sweets and dessert with a chocolate fountain. I haven't seen a chocolate fountain in the hotel for a long time. So next up, I've gone for cockfish curry with basmati rice, courgette, onion and pumpkin. Now the fish fell to pieces. It's fell to pieces and not a bone, not one bone in the fish. And basmati rice, a little bit of a kick in it. The fish curry, not so curry really. It's the way it is. Every time I've had curry in Spain, it always seems to be their version. A little weak curry, but it wasn't that spicy. Lots of flavour in the basmati rice. So I managed to escape fish dish without a bone. Not one single bone in that fish, which is what I like. Now for dessert. And finally I've gone for the strawberry cake, the strawberry ice cream, and a selection of Kiddie sweets. The big kid in me. I thought I'd try some of these little kiddie sweets as well. Let's try out this cake. Strawberry cake. Let's get that again. There's something about cakes abroad. You don't seem to have that cake. You can taste strawberry, but not very strong. And there's a soft scoop ice cream as well. Very soft. You can taste the strawberry in the ice cream. It's melting so quick on the plate. The heat is ridiculous. Even though there's air con in the, in the restaurant, I think it's about 27 still outside and it's half past eight at night. Right overall experience with the inn and meal. There's quite a good selection. When you go around and you have a little look. Quite a good selection for the children. Um, the veal, I said the veal at the beginning, I said veal has a tendency to be sort of like stringy. Uh, it was. Not, not bad, but it was stringy, but quite nice. Um, the cockfish curry with basmati rice, I've never had that before. And that was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I like the fact that there's no bone here. And the basmati rice had a little bit of a kick in it, which I liked. Uh, strawberry cake with the strawberry ice cream. As usual, Spanish cakes don't seem to have any taste in them at all. I don't know why. Do you find that when you come abroad to Spain? That the desserts don't seem to have the taste that we're used to. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, ice cream was nice, nice and smooth. And I really enjoyed the little cheese at the end with the, the selection of children's sweets. Calories are going to pound on again as usual. Right, I better go and pay for my water. Don't know how much that's going to be. Um, and I'll see you a little bit later on.
Good morning. Where do I start? Well, yesterday was a travel day and I was a bit tired last night. But either way, this bed, this bed has got to be the most comfortable bed I've ever slept in. Absolutely lovely. I could have stayed in all day. But it's breakfast time. So come on, let's go and see what's available on the Buffy breakfast. Right, it's time for the summary of the hotel. I've just come back from breakfast. Breakfast is served from 7.30 through till 10. I went down at 9 o'clock. Probably the busiest time to go down and you'll see that from the footage because I couldn't really um, video because people were just walking in the way. Uh, good selection. Uh, good selection, full English breakfast. Everything was there for an English breakfast. Scrambled eggs, fried eggs, poached eggs. Um, there was pancakes, pretzels, uh, a full cheese and ham selection, a full fruit selection, cakes, uh, biscuits, um, champagne. Um, the only criticism I would have is that the main part of the restaurant became a bit of a bottleneck. I didn't even bother with anything relating to toast or the toaster because I couldn't get near it because they had the fruit machines, the coffee machines and the toasters all in this one area so I thought I can't be bothered mm. with the toast Anyhow, breakfast was okay sausage was a little bit dry didn't really have much taste bacon was nice, it was smoked um, evening meal, I enjoyed I enjoyed the evening meal um, the hotel itself has been nice, really nice. It's very clean. As you walk through, you'll see that by the images. Uh, the hotel is very clean, very bright, very airy during the day. Uh, nice lighting during the night. Um, it is a four star. I can't argue at all with the bedroom I was given. The view was absolutely beautiful. Um, so, my verdict. One, would I come back again? I would definitely come back to this hotel. You couldn't argue with this bed. This is one bed. I would like to take this bed home because this bed is one fantastic sleep. Um, yes, I would definitely come back again. I would definitely recommend this hotel. I don't know if it's one of the main hotels here in Fuengarola, um, from what I could see. The actual... Um, Price, that's what you need to know now, isn't it? Now, I paid towards the higher end because I'm single occupancy. Uh, but I was looking before on the internet. Let's get that price. I was half bored. 
single occupancy in this room cost me £109. Prices are coming down below. £109. Uh, that was for me. But if there was two of you in this room, it would cost you £74 per person per night. Hard board. Which I don't think is expensive at all. Not for a four star hotel right on the beachfront, especially with that view, and especially the room that you get. So £109 single occupancy and £74 for per person if you were sharing the room. So there you have it, that brings me to a close for this video. Don't forget, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that's the main part. Hit the subscribe button, cost you nothing. People worry about hitting subscribe buttons because they think so the word subscribe means it's gonna cost them money. Cost you nothing, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget, hit the notification bell, otherwise you won't know when the next video is coming up. And of course, leave me a comment. What did you think of this hotel? The Hotel Leonardo in Fuengarola here in Costa del Sol. What do you think of it? Would you stay here? Do you think the price was right? What did you think of the look of the food? What about the amenities? And what about the hotel itself? Leave some comments down below and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.